Welcome everyone to another quick tip. Today we're just going to show you how to use the area chart mod, the custom visualization available for free in the community. You can just drag and drop it right into your Spotfire analysis, no code required. So let's take a look. Here is the mods homepage where we have a lot of the free available mods. I'm going to put this link in the video description. We're going to use the area chart mod today. So if I click this, I can go to learn more. And this brings up our Tipco Exchange where you can try this mod and it'll pull up a example so you can make sure that this is what you want. This is what we're going to use today. If I go here and I go to download this mod, that's going to pull it to a zip file onto my desktop that I can unzip, which I've already done. So let's go to Spotfire and I have some COVID-19 data and here is my area chart mod on my desktop unzipped and you'll see this mod file so i'm going to drag and drop it in to this dxp with covid19 data and i just want to see how the cases have changed in the past month it's uh just now july and uh, so basically looking at the month of june how have the cases changed around the world i'm going to go to my uh, numerical axis here for new cases and we can see that this is really uh, pretty high in South America. Let's look at this over time. So look at the date here. And you'll see that this is going down, kind of leveling, that's good. Let's color this by our categorical variable of our continent. So again, all visualizations in Spotfire are based off of categorical or numerical variable types, and that's what you're gonna select in your dropdown. So I have a categorical one here on my color by, numerical on my new cases, and I have numerical here on my date. Uh, I can actually use this as a, a categorical as well. So now we can see this all overlapped and over the month of May and June, how the cases are changing. You can see a lot of this is in South America. It's all overlapped. If I left click here, I can choose to stack this. So now we're seeing the total cases around the world at the top, and we're seeing these little segments that show what is the makeup of those new cases. So Asia is being right here in the red, and we're seeing a lot in South America there. Not too much in Oceania, not too much being reported in Africa, although we do think there might be a little bit of underreporting in Africa with just how some of the case trends have been going. Uh, but nevertheless, here we are, we can see this. We also have some options here. We can change this to 100% stacked. And this is showing the makeup of the total here. And so out of all the cases, you can see that the share of total cases in the world is increasing for Africa. It's, um, uh, it's about staying the same for Europe and North America. And I can also go ahead and change this to a linear type. So that's gonna make it, instead of rounded, it's gonna be linear right there. And uh, change this back to stack so you can see that. So very easy way to use the area chart. Now the area chart is uh, has previously been used with things like line chart or you can use a bar chart. But what this is offering you is an ability to use a totally filled in uh, area here uh, and see that continuously through. So it's a great way to visualize continuous data and segments of continuous data. Now that's it for today's quick session on using an area chart mod. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be doing some more videos on using these custom visualizations. And if you have your own custom visualizations and mods that you wanna share with the Tipco community, go ahead and submit it to us. I'm gonna put a link to that in the video description as well. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining today. Thank you.